Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friends in this video i am going to cover dlp agent upgradation because as you know that force point release new version somewhere around 3 to 4 5 months right every there could be bug fixes or new version release so you should be upgrade your version you know time to time so that if there is any vulnerability so that you will be able to save your infrastructure from any exploit so let me show you step by step how exactly you can do that after this small intro welcome back guys now as always let me launch my force point uh, dlp console let me enter the credentials so that i'll be able to show you which is the current version i'm running in my environment so as i go to the endpoint status then here you can see there is one agent installed okay uh, which is managed by this fsm and the version which is installed that is 24.04.5677 okay now let me go to the you know uh, support site where i'll be able to log in into the console here you go let's click on login and we'll just simply enter our credentials and here is the password let's hit on login and as soon as console loads up we'll directly have to go to the download now just scroll a little down and search for dlp data loss prevention inside that we'll have to click on endpoint dlp and simply again scroll down little bit and as you could see this is the version which we are running which is released on april 70 right but the you know after this the new version which is re released for the force point one endpoint that is 24.06 so this is the version we have to download and to which we'll be able to upgrade our environment so let me click on that scroll down it has given the you know brief information if you want you can go through with that and this is compatible with windows windows 64 bit and mac os x just scroll down now we'll simply click on download and agent is start downloading it will be done somewhere around within a minute of time meanwhile guys this is getting downloaded let me tell you that our you know the agent package creation process is very simple okay so we have to replace certain files which is available inside this folder and then we'll create the new fresh setup and that is also i'll demonstrate in this same video and after that we'll test this package in one of our environment so this video is going to be very interesting if you don't know how to upgrade your infra to the latest version although you don't have to do much on the console but yeah the majority of the things is you will have to modify the set things on client to client system which means upgradation of your dlp agent on end user system it could be your windows or mac operating system users uh, additionally once you taste this package on certain user let's say 5 10 you know 20 50 as per the your uat you know uh, initial testing criteria then you can proceed with uat that will be uh, let's say you have 10000 15000 system then you can perform the uat on 200 300 machines and once everything is successful then you can go ahead with the deployment across the organization in the batch of 500 or 1000 system at a time to avoid any issue which may occur later okay so that your deployment uh, will go step by step and you will be able to fix any issue which may get introduced great our package has been downloaded successfully let me open my file explorer and here you guys you can see let me refresh this is the package so very first what we'll have to do we have to click on extract all great our setup has been extracted right so our portal work is done so what i'll do i'll simply close this now minimize and i'll open one more file explorer okay and in this particular file explorer we'll have to navigate to the our instruction directory where you have installed your websense so inside the data security very first we'll have to go to the client because this is where we are we are going to put our lots of files so let me open this folder as well and as you could see let's replace these first three files here if you want you can always take a backup guys okay because this is your older file let me just show you if i go to the properties 
details here you can see 24.04 right but similar way if you go to the new new setup it shows 24.06 hopefully the difference is clear now now what i'll do i'll simply delete because this is my test environment so i'm not bothered about you know taking a backup of this file but in your scenario you should take the backup okay so let me cut and paste here successful now under the osx this is your basically your mac agent so this is also i'll delete and we'll just move this from here to there simple navigations so once you are done with this then the next thing you will have to do is go to the custom endpoint message files and this is where you will have to replace these templates this is basically notification templates which i you know demonstrated during our endpoint profile section right so if you have any modification custom modification in any of the notification file then you will have to open this old notification as well as in the new also you will have to open the same notification and wherever you have made changes you will have to update those changes in the latest file and once that is done then you can simply save those files and then replace your new file with the older one like this so replace all so english custom is i have you know uh, during my testing i have created so this can be ignored but however the file which you are using in your environment okay make sure all files are intact so that's how you can you know basically let me just delete this empty folder yeah it's deleted so that's how you can you know copy all the files to your production server by taking the backup now to create the agent setup what you will have to do you simply have to click on run as administrator the websense endpoint package builder and then it will get extracted by itself let me close this because we don't require that anymore now based on your environment requirement you can select appropriate option if you have the combined package then yeah you can select your photos point dlp endpoint and then appropriate things okay but right now we are just running with our photos point dlp agent so i'll select this particular agent only now next uh, i'll be installing because i just have windows environment so i'll be selecting this option and here you will have to enter the password which will be used for the agent administration okay this is a temper password password anti-temper so let me enter the password here perfect i have validated the password and click on next uh, the installation directory so i'll just keep as it is it will go after installation you know it will get installed into the program files websites websites endpoint folder and then again click on next uh, this is my management server ip if you want i'll just show you because right now i'm into the management server so if i open cmd ip config then here you will be able to see my ip address of this server okay now let's click on next interact to that is fine where exactly you would like to save so i'll just create one folder here on the desktop which is fp agent or first point dlp agent 24.06 okay so this is the version so let's click on browse and we'll browse this particular folder you can see here 24.06 click on ok the path has been picked up now click on finish now we'll have to wait for some time until the end is you you should get the uh, successful you know package creation prompt okay my package has been successfully created let's click on ok let me just open this you know set of file and check out the package properties details 24.065685 and the version which we are running on our server that is 24.04.5677 copy this particular setup to new you know endpoint so that we'll be able to test our uh, this particular package now friends let me go to this particular client machine which is fp windows 10 and we'll upgrade this version to the latest version let me refresh the screen and see there is no changes right it's still showing 24.045677 so let's move to this particular client machine and this is my client machine guys let me show you by opening the cmd and the host name host name you can verify the host name here right 
as well as if I go to the start button and then open ports point DLP endpoint and inside the I button you can see the same version 24.04.5677 so what we will do we'll close this window and then uh, I have copied this particular setup inside the download folder let me show you guys again details and 2406 so the command which I have given in my earlier videos you can refer that or you can you know simply double click this you know agent setup and start with the installation okay the installation has been begin so I'll just close this you know background windows and when you guys are running the installer through the command line you have option whether you can use the silent switch and you know, other stuff it's completely depends on you how exactly you would like to manage and guys uh, just for your information right now i am upgrading the agent okay but even case if you want to uh, deploy the fresh agent then also the process is same you just have to double click on this setup and agent will get installed and for the command line you can refer my previous videos because i have created one dedicated video on this particular topic okay now let's click on next button and our installation is started you can see the progress bar here and this is for the version 24.06.5685 perfect our installation has been completed now click on finish button and it's asking you to restart the system see right now icon is not present and if i go to the run and then uh, let's say appvis.cpl which is our programs and feature then here you will find your latest version 24.06.5685 so as a best practice we'll always need to you know reboot the system actually this is not true with the trellix or semantic or other you know other dlp technologies but in force point when you are installing uh, the force point agent you will have to for agent to smoothly function but this is not the post uh, reboot okay if you want you can click on no and continue with your work me if you are already you know doing something and once that is done then you can restart your machine okay system has been rebooted now let's enter our credentials here and here we go enter friends system has been powered on now let me just open my force point dlp agent console and it says enabled so let's open that and when i click on here 24.06 right so it looks like this is you know up to date now let's go back to our fsm console and check out what is showing there okay guys so on the force point fsm console what i'll do i'll simply refresh this screen okay guys now my agent is showing latest version 24.06.5685 so guys hopefully now you have understood that how exactly we can upgrade our dlp agent to the latest version and how to download the you know agent setup file from the console then use using the package builder how to export the agent so all the things which I know, I try to simplify the entire process and hopefully you guys have found this uh, you know, video useful. If so, then as always, please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. And you know, uh, if you are colleagues and friends is also try to learn the cybersecurity product, then please do share this video with them. So that's it in this video. This is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the next amazing video. Till then, bye-bye.